Dagupan City is best remembered by some as the landing site of a U.S. Army Liberation Force during World War II. Located on the South China Sea, it's also famous for its local variety of a beloved Philippine staple, the milkfish. But if the coveted milkfish is Dagupan's pride, the city's shame is a 50-year-old garbage dump sitting atop the town's gorgeous Pacific beachfront. Most of the dump's biodegradable waste has long since turned to muck and gas. What's left is a 42,000-ton mountain that feeds plastic into the ocean on coastal winds and during the island's many storms. Waste pickers scramble across the seven-acre eyesore in search of metal and plastic to sell recyclers. Today, the dump is on fire, releasing toxic plumes over the city. In 2013, Dagupan elected its first woman mayor. Belen Fernandez took immediate aim at the seaside pile. She found an ally in a U.S. company, Waste to Worth Innovations. The number one problem really here are the plastics. The plastics of 50 years and up to today. The most important thing always is we will have a clean river, a clean sea, a clean beach, and a healthy life for everyone when there is no plastic anymore. I know this is the only hope that we have. If Mayor Fernandez gets her way, Dagupan's garbage will feed a new waste to energy plant that will supply diesel fuel to the local fishing fleet and natural gas to the city's motorcycle taxis. Dagupan is always my favorite city to illustrate the ocean plastics issue because it's so obvious. <laughs> you could see literally how close the end of this dump site is to the, the beach. One big typhoon whoosh, out it goes. This is a crisis that we have to deal with now. I will be very happy to see one day that all of this dump will be gone. And uh, I would like to make sure that our people will be safe and will live a healthy life. Dagupan's waste to energy plant will use a process called pyrolysis to turn plastic into fuel. Waste is superheated in a sealed chamber causing the plastic to break down into hydrocarbon-rich gases, which are then condensed into liquid diesel fuel. It's an anaerobic process, purer than burning, engineers say. No smoke or pollution escapes. At first, we didn't want to do it, to be honest with you. Dagupan only takes in about 30 tons of trash a day, which isn't much. It's very hard to make the economics work with only 30 tons of trash a day. So we came back up here and we did a lot of due diligence, analyzed their trash, analyzed their economy, said, okay, I think we can come up with something that works for you. We realized that waste to worth was not just about big cities and big trash. Dagupan is our prototype for the small city. If we can get it to work here, I can tell you we can get it to work anywhere.